Hey guys, BramGun98, yet again, with another video. And, well, today we're gonna take a look at something different, because today we're gonna take a look at a papercraft transformer that I've designed, like, a long time ago. It was actually supposed to be a design for my brother, who was his birthday, and I wanted to make something personalized for him, but that didn't work out, because I was like, yeah, you know what, he's not gonna like this. But, uh... Well, I still made it, just a few, uh, yesterday, but, um, because I thought, you know what, you know what, what the heck, I, I changed up the head design a bit, because originally I designed him with my brother's head on it, I don't want to do that for, like, just a regular Transformer character, so, without further ado, let's take a look at Papercraft Transformers, Game Boy, yeah, it, it's just a Game Boy, I haven't okay, come up with a name yet, maybe Gametron, I don't know, but I made a little Game Boy Transformer of me. And he works out really well. Uh, yeah, so, um, uh, it's like a bit more chibi. Of course, it's a lot that happens, but, you know, the buttons are the proper size. This one's a bit misaligned, but it's supposed to be like that. There we go. So, yeah, you get the A and the B button, start button there, the things right there, you get the power light. You got the volume switches, and then the on and off switch. You got a game cartridge, which is hollow on the inside. The back looks pretty decent, not gonna lie. The bottom looks like a bunch of crap. And you got the head down there. Hey. Hey. Yeah, that's a head sculpt. But uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, or head drawing. It's not really a sculpt. But nope. But, yeah, I made a little Game Boy. Um, that's one. So, yeah, um... Not much to it, actually. It's just a square. But actually, I came to the realization yesterday, which is really stupid. Because it's blue, I could have made a Game Boy version of Soundwave. Kind of a missed opportunity. Yeah. But anyway, let's get to transformation. So in order to transform this guy, it's kind of all over the place, actually. What you want to do first is you want to get these out, the panels, you can see they're like fake switches on the shoulders, or what will become the shoulders, they're hidden inside the body, you going to fold these out, and there you go, you're going to fold these all the way up, you're going to bring these back in, let's see, so that fills in like a gap on the side, and that's pretty clever I think, I kind of like that. And I actually deviated with the arm design from the... Des uh, actually, like, changed up the arm design from the original design. Because it was way really too difficult to figure out that. But there are the arms. Pretty cool design. I really like them. And yeah, you got the fake switches on the top. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, then, we're gonna do something very cool. We're gonna take this, this entire middle piece here. We're gonna fold it up, and that forms like a chest piece. And we got this peg thingy right here. Which packs right in there. So, yeah. After that's done, we're gonna fold down this cartridge. It's a bit more on the back, like angled backwards like that. And we're gonna rotate this around like so. And then we get like this giant shaft. And what that does, that collapses all the way like that. And you can actually... In the original design, it's like up a bit. I think you can actually do that if you find a way to support it. Let's see, can we actually do it? Hold on, it's getting stuck on something. And you get like a stopper piece right here, which actually stops it from sliding out, which is pretty clever. So, yeah, you get like an entire mechanism in there, which is kind of cool. And um, let's actually try to fix this mess right now. Is it getting floppy all over the place? But yeah, pretty much you're just gonna, like, collapse that. And there you get, like, your little Game Boy guy. He's more chibi than I would've wanted to. Or squashed down. And I guess that gives him a bit more character. And yeah, on the back, very clean. I like the back, actually. I haven't actually looked at that yet, but the back is really clean. I like that. Yeah, this guy is interesting, actually. I can't, he, He's, like, one of my favorites right now. That's because he's, like... The, um, 
the more, more interesting ones, like the more different ones, because you, you, it's not the every day that you see like a Game Boy Transformer. So this really works, and the reason why it's a blue, why it's actually a Game Boy that I designed for my brother's birthday originally, because this guy was actually originally as a birthday present. But the reason why it's a Game Boy is because when my brother and I were younger, we had a blue, this exact color of blue, Game Boy. But it was a Game Boy Advance, not the original Game Boy you see right here. So what that meant is I wanted to, you know, like a bit of nostalgia, just make a Game Boy, but instead of that I'll make it a Transformer, so it's more, a bit more personalized. And I actually designed it with this face instead of this face. So, but yeah, um, but that's pretty much the story behind it, but I, uh, but then it was too late, and I was like, you know what, it's not even gonna work as a proper birthday present, because he's too old for this sort of stuff, because he was turning 29, I think. I'm not sure anymore, but, uh, yeah, anyway, here's comparison with Warpath, you can see a clear size difference in vehicle mode, I'm not gonna transform this guy, because he's a pain in the ass. For other comparison, here he is with Fortress Maximus, you can see he's kinda big compared to Fort Max. But that's not the biggest one yet, because I have a surprise for you, but, oh, I, yeah, by the way, I forgot to tell you this, but I got a surprise coming up that will literally blow your mind. Once it's finished, you're gonna love it, like, little hint, hint, it's my biggest paper craft transformer ever. And that's all I'm gonna say for this video. Well, I can actually just give you a little sneak peek, you know what I'm gonna give you? A tiny little sneak peek. So this is the tiny little sneak peek right here. Yeah, I'm not gonna say too much, but I guess you can already tell what this is, but uh, we'll see for the next uh, video. I'm not sure when I'm gonna review this, but it will see. So with that little sneak peek out of the way, let's clean up this for a bit, there you go. And yeah, pretty much, yeah, <laughs> once again, I really like this guy. Pretty much because he has a bit of a more personal story to it. But yeah. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm Prime Guy, and this is... Oh, well, now we're at it. You know what? You can come up with a name. If you have a name better than GameTron, hit me up. Write a name down in the comments below. And I'll try to pick one. And yeah, that's what his name is gonna be. I can't really do a price, unfortunately. But uh, yeah. Anyway, this is um, I'm Pram Guy, and this is a Game Boy Transformer. And I'll see you next time. Bye.